I actually remember the first moment that I decided I wanted to become a, a writer or I love stories. Um, it was very early. I was seven years old and I took a few paper folios and I started drawing pictures on them. Um, I was a, f a very uh, eager reader. I devoured the library in the town where I grew up. So I started drawing these pictures and writing the first words to them. And I remember the first moment when everything came together. It was a very simple story, obviously, um, written by a seven-year-old. But I remember the sense of accomplishment that I got from finishing the story and from turning the pages that I actually wrote. So um, that was the defining moment in a certain sense for, for me. I think what really draws me to writing is um, the stories itself. I grew up in the Karoo in a community where stories um, are part of everyday life. I grew up with a grandfather who loved telling stories. My grandmother loved uh, old nursery rhymes and taught us old nursery rhymes. And that's the part of writing that up to this day I always enjoy the most. I love creating stories. Um, everything else is sort of uh, second to that and comes second, is, is secondary to that. I really enjoy sitting down and getting that spark where the story starts and then rolling with that and finishing it. I tend not to think of my writing career in terms of achievements or um, you know, prizes and stuff like that because that's really not why I do what I do. Um, when I'm sitting at my desk uh, writing a new story, I never think about, uh, it's, it's never a consideration whether this is going to win a prize or whatever. It's always nice getting recognition for your work. But I must say, as far as my biggest accomplishment goes, I think um, just getting feedback from readers. Um, ever so often, I'll get a, an email from a mother who will tell me her kid never loved reading, never enjoyed reading, was scared of books. and he or she picked up one of my books and started reading and started laughing at a certain you note, know, page two or three, and they hooked on these books now. That's the most amazing feedback that anyone can get. Um, as far as career highlights go, um, it was amazing seeing two of my books turned into uh, movies on a big screen. It's very daunting seeing your story there on that big screen. Um, but it's very nice seeing that happen. Um, it's not something that I planned on doing, so it was very unexpected. And then um, recently, about two or three years ago, um, an overseas publishing house started uh, publishing my books in English and distributing them in England and um, in the USA and so on. So um, it's nice seeing your work go to a new market and getting a new readership, and it's a very exciting business. I started collecting pears about four or five years ago, if I remember correctly. Um, when I was a small boy growing up in the Karoo, my sister and I each had one pears. I think I had a, had a Bugs Bunny pears. It was the most amazing thing when you flipped it open, you could take this um, little piece of candy out of there. And I thought I didn't really realize that it was still a thing and that you could still buy these toys. And then a few years ago, I was in a toy shop with my kids and I saw this Superman pears. And I, in a in a bout of sentimentality, I actually bought it. And then I started reading on the internet and I saw, wow, they, you still get new pairs um, coming out every year and there are people collecting vintage pairs. And I started collecting myself. It's quite difficult getting your hands on them in South Africa. Um, so I had to go online and start ordering them. But pairs is a wonderful way of keeping track of pop culture and um, they make a wonderful display on your office wall. So uh, that's how I got hooked on the hobby. Um, what only a Kofsi knows the feeling means to me is um, years ago coming to this campus and becoming part of something. Um, I'm quite a loner, um, I'm quite an introvert, so um, years ago when I started at Kofsi's it was a great feeling getting to know people that share the same passions as you, um, working at the student newspaper and getting to know this complete community of people of people and meeting these people that actually share the same ideas as you and get and are interested in the same stuff. And up to this day, that's the part that I remember most fondly of Kofsis, is that feeling of community.